Doctors who have been in and is anybody here a doctor? Situation. What happened? My wife and I were waiting for a plane to take off. And they asked for a doc over the intercom. My wife got up and there was a guy lying in the aisle. Already dead. She couldn't do anything. Had to sign some forms. They got the guy off the plane. And made an announcement that the guy was in stable condition. Which is technically true for some definition of the word stable. Not a doctor, but I was on a flight from DC to Chicago, and got so sick I passed out upon landing. As I was coming to, I was being aided by a man, and heard another person shout are you a doctor? The man helping me replied, I'm the Surgeon General of the United States. This was Vivek Murphy, and it happened around 2015. He was the kindest and humblest guy. My mom has had to respond twice on flights when someone was in distress. The first time was in the air and a guy was having a diabetic low. She monitored him until we landed. The second time was sitting on the tarmac when a guy had a stroke. They delayed the flight and took the dude off the plane. She also said that after the first one, the airline sent her a thank you card and said please use these enclosed vouchers to get tickets to a destination of your choosing. But they forgot to include the vouchers. She said she thought it would be rude to write back and say hey you forgot the vouchers. While we were on our descent, somebody lurched over in their chair and became unresponsive. Tachycardic and diaphoretic. The whole episode lasted for about 2 minutes. Then he woke up and vomited. I figured he had an arrhythmia and recommended he not take his connecting flight to Cleveland and instead go to the air. Uh, Ims was waiting on the ground and helped him off the plane. I actually saw him again on my return flight home. He told me he was diagnosed with an arrhythmia and made an appointment to see a cardiologist in our hometown. I was flying out of my home airport during my intern year. I had just finished my cardiology rotation. Intensive care. The flight attendant asked for a doctor because a passenger had severe chest pain. It turned out there was also my senior resident and my CCU attending on the same flight, unknown to me. All three of us had worked together for the past two months and signed off the CCU the day before, like a well-oiled machine. We took care of the patient. He was stable thankfully. An ambulance was waiting for him when we landed. And I was very grateful to have both my senior resident and my attending at the time. Not a doctor, but the patient in this scenario. I was on a long flight, 4 hours, and developed excruciating pain and urge to urinate. Hold up in a washroom for 20 minutes when a flight attendant inquired if I was okay. Explained the problem, and they got on the PA system inquiring about a doctor on the flight. The doctor, correctly, suggested I was suffering from previously undiagnosed kidney stones. They passed a 2 liter bottle of water into the washroom, and suggested I drink as much as possible. While I didn't pass the stones, the water flushed my kidneys enough to make the balance of the flight bearable. I sought medical attention upon arrival at my destination. My wife is a doctor. She passed out on a plane trip, and we had to see if there were any other doctors. Not a doctor, but my daddy's. One time last year he was at a game for our local baseball game. And one of the spectators went into cardiac arrest part way through the game. The whole game stopped. Things went silent as he ran over and assessed the situation before starting compressions. He and the baseball team's doctor kept switching until an ambulance arrived. And I think he ended up being okay. Not a doctor, but I'm CPR certified. I work at a gym and a guy passed out after coming out of the shower and people started shouting for someone to help him or find a doctor. I, being a stupid teenager. I was too nervous to do CPR. I was scared if I made the situation worse, or what if he didn't need it. So, yeah I probably should've done more. A few moments later an actual doctor came in. I remember he was naked and looked like Thor. The passed out guy woke up just as Dr. Thor came in though and wanted to leave. But Dr. Thor convinced him to sit down and rest a bit because something had happened to his blood pressure. His I have a doctorate, but I'm not a medical doctor. But shortly after receiving my doctorate I was on a trans. 
Atlantic flight and the flight attendant came around asking if any one of us was a doctor. I very briefly considered answering jokingly yes, but not that kind of doctor. But the man in front of me said that he was. And as he was leaving with the attendant he said to his wife I've been waiting my whole career for this. About 15 minutes later he came back. Slightly disgruntled. Turned out a woman in first class was having a panic attack. And she ended up with three doctors around her all frustrated that they didn't get to do an emergency tracheotomy at 35 uh, 000 feet. My friend has had it happen twice to him. Both heart related in restaurants. Was able to use a defibrillator to save one's life and the other unfortunately passed. Defibrillators don't work if the heart is completely stopped. And CPR is a long shot and didn't work in this case. Transatlantic flight. Many years ago, stewardess comes to ask if I'm a medical doctor and if could I help. The walk up the plane was less than a minute. But through my mind went every scenario. A baby on the way. Surely not. Acute coronary event. Stroke. I steeled myself. I was taken to a man who looked okay. A little wheezy perhaps. I was told he had forgotten his inhaler. They had them on the plane, but needed me to say he could have won. I said yes. My reward. A thank you. And a free drink. It could have been worse. Story of my dad who is a doctor. We were on a flight when suddenly a passenger. An old man got a heart attack. The staff asked if any doctor is around so my dad showed up. He gave first aid which didn't. T seemed to help. So he used the defibrillator. Also no luck. He injected adrenaline and started CPR again. Luckily he managed to save his life. The airline gifted him with a mullet champagne. Proud to have such a great dad. Not me but my brother was on a flight when a woman had taken too many sedatives. It was her first flight ever. She threw up and joked on it. The flight attendants asked if there was a doctor on the flight over the speakers and my brother went over there. He treated her and probably saved her life and had to talk to the pilot about whether it was safe to cross the Atlantic. My brother said yes and she was fine for the rest of the flight.